Hi guys, I was gonna just show you real quick how to bedazzle a costume. So we ordered these costumes and I'm gonna show the moms how I added extra stones to it. So I went to Hobby Lobby and they have these t-shirt cardboards in different sizes. So I got the small one for the children's and then these for the older girls. And what you do is you just get a Ziploc bag or uh, some kind of uh, protection because once you start uh, stoning, it is gonna stick to this. So you get some Ziploc bags and you just tape it there. You put the costume through there. What I discovered is I was trying to find the easiest way to stone and they have some hot fix stones and they have flat back stones. And I figured that the hot fix would be the easiest for me to start because it has a little gun to it and all you do is you get the stone and you hold it for 10 seconds and then you move on. So I started with that and it is just that simple. But it depends on what kind of material. So the hot fix worked on the blue lycra material, but as soon as I did that on this thinner part, it burned a hole through it. So I ended up having to do the two ways of stoning. The hot fix, and then the other way is the flat back stoning, which I use the glue um, E6000. It's a little messier, I find it a little more difficult, but it's the only one that's not gonna burn a hole. So I'm gonna zoom in just to show you how simple it is. So I got these again at um, Hobby Lobby. The other thing that I got at Hobby Lobby is this cute, very cool measuring gauge. And what it does is, I don't know if you can see, it has different measurements. So it'll be like three eighths or three fourths or a whole inch, half an inch. And so you use this to make sure you put a stone and then a half inch later, you might put another stone, you move it, stone, half inch, so that your spacing is accurate and even and so i love this i actually use this to um, stone so and then i got the gun and the beads from amazon any bead or stone that uh, says flat back the flat back one you're going to use with the glue the hot fix stones you're going to use with the gun. And you can see the difference because the hot glue ones, they have like a little film on it and, and the other ones don't. Now I always get the AB because they're the shiny ones and I got a size 20, SS20 and it's the AB, uh, so it's like Aurora Borealis and it gives off more uh, shine. Also what I got, and so I got the stones and the gun from Amazon. Hobby Lobby, I got these things. I got a little wax stick, wax stick pencil so that the stones stick to it and you can place them. And then I got this little cool thing that holds all my beads in it. And so I put a flat back so I know what stones are flat back and what stones are hot fix. So I'm just gonna show a quick, quick, video of how I uh, first start with the stoning. So hopefully you can see from there. All right, so what you do is, again, I'm gonna do the, the, um, the gun one first on the blue material. So this hot, this little wax pencil, it just sticks. So I pour them in somewhere. Um, so you, it sticks to the pencil. So you put it, I start right on the edge. I place it right on the edge where I wanna start. It's kind of lumpy here. Um, you can move your, with your fingers too. Hopefully you can see that. Get the hot, it's really, really hot. You put the, the size that you spin it on and I should have done that beforehand, but you just screw it on and I'll show you right now. Uh, to the size of stone that you have. You put it straight down on the stone and you hold it. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you release. It is super hot, so you don't want to touch it. And again, you want the same spacing. It's right there from stone to stone. So I use this. I was using the five eighths. So I will place it right there and I will stick my next stone on the other side. Again, I leave it there. I use my pencil. I pick up a, whoops, it fell. I pick up a stone and then I bring it and place it on the other side of the five eighths. I get my little gun and I hold it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I release it, and there you go. And so, I don't know if you can see that. So the stones end up being the same distance. I'll put that gauge again, and I just go all the way around to the back. I do the top as well. And so I just do that with the same measurement um, going that way. Now, as far as these, what I was telling you, when you ordered this gun, it comes with different sizes. So depending on the stone that you have, that you ordered, again, um, you just screw off at the top and screw it on. It's super hot, so I won't touch it right now. But that's uh, how you adjust to the different stones. All right, so I love the hot fix gun because it's super easy. And again, you just do that. Now, the other one, the flat back, I'm gonna put all these, woo, gosh. I'm gonna put these back. The flat back ones are the ones that you have to get when you use the glue. Now, the glue is supposed to stick better, last longer. They all last through washes, as long as you're washing by hand and delicate. Um, so the flat back ones, same size, 20, SS20, uh, AB, Aurora Boralis. But with that one, it's for more delicate material. So again, you use your pencil, you get it. Um, and when it doesn't stick as well, you can sharpen the pencil and uh, it'll, it'll get better. So you get your stone, you put it, for this one, I'm using it on this mesh because the other one burned a hole through it. And so for this, the um, <laughs> E6000 is what I got from Walmart. I got the one that comes with gadgets, so it comes with different sizes, not different sizes, it comes with several of these. All you do is you, you um, take this top off and you insert this and then you just squeeze until a uh, drop starts coming out. This one, I need to get another one actually. Uh, it takes a while. But all you would do with this one is wherever you're gonna put it, you're gonna put a drop and you're gonna kinda do this little motion so that it doesn't leave a glue residue everywhere. So you drop and twist and drop and twist and you're leaving just a drop uh, of glue and I think my glue dried out I should have tested this beforehand but you would do that and then the same thing you would just put the you would put the glue drop and you can do several at a time a glue drop and again you do this little motion so it comes off and then once they're there you would be placing your stones throughout uh, in scattered. I always go with scattered and I should have brought what I did. Hold on. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. I should have brought this ahead of time. Okay, so this is how it turned out. And I don't know, it shines so much prettier in um, so again, I did these with the hot fix gun and the gauge, leaving a good distance, same distance all the way around on all the blue part. But on the mesh part, I used the glue. 
And then again, you just do the glue and you put the stone and it's a scattered, um, I put like one and then I put two and then I put like, I just went eyeballing it too. Um, and this is what it comes out to. So hopefully uh, this helped. If you have any questions, just reach out to me. Bye. Thank you.